You are now listening to the sounds of Mood Swing Music Group. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, what we're going to do now, in part one, what we did, we showed you how to create your own drum kit. So what we're going to do in this one, we're going to go into machine. Let's get in machine. We're going to go into machine, and we're going to show you how to actually take that same drum kit that you created and start to create your beat pattern. So here we go, let's go in. We're gonna go right here to group A, and like I say, this is gonna save you a lot of time. You're gonna go right in here to group A, you're gonna right click, you're gonna go open, you're gonna choose the actual kit that we made. So I think it's this one right here. We're going to go open, and there's your kit. So what we're going to do to keep this simple for guys who have not yet really gotten into making beats, we're going to keep this really simple. So right now, since we already got the sounds we want, we can close that, give us more real estate on the screen. We can take this, and we'll make it, I'll make it, we'll make it two measures. Make that two measures. Then what else do we want to do? We're not going to mess with tempo yet because we're going to get to tempo. Uh, and then we want to just start creating. So what you want to do is go down here to this little pencil tool. And then you want to go up here. And you want to start to write in your uh, instrument. So... The reason I'm saying write them in is because I'm actually making this video for someone who's not really proficient on the pads just yet. But what we're going to do, we're going to get you started just on the screen, showing you how to come up with those patterns that you really like. And not only the ones you really like, but patterns that you can use in the future for other tracks that you may make that you uh, want that same pattern and, and tempo or whatever too so here we go we're gonna jump in we loaded our beat i mean we loaded our kit and we're just gonna go in and start putting it together so just, i'm just gonna start writing it in and as you can see i just go to each one and i skip one so i went to the one i skipped one two i went to one three i skipped one four i went to two and then i skipped two two and then i went to two three so let's see how that sounds when we play it and the tempo is currently at 120. So what you should be doing when you listen to that, you should start kind of getting in, into like a certain rhythm and kind of understanding where you want to go with it. Uh, what I normally do... Let's see. Let's let's keep it as simple as possible. We'll go to our snare and we'll just write it in on all of the downbeats and just see how it sounds. Now right there you got something that's kind of like uh what Billy Jean Right there, if you wanted to remake Billie Jean, here you go. Dun, 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 dun. But that ain't what we're looking for. We're looking for some modern hip hop, R&B, neo soul, smooth flow type stuff. So once I get to this point, what I normally start to do, I'll start to eliminate. So you get right on these and you click them, and then you listen to it once you start eliminating. And then right there, it gives me an idea. Let's see what it sounds like if we double it up. And guys, right here, I'm, I'm merely... I mean, I'm totally experimenting. I'm just clicking in and I'm listening as I go.
It's a method to my madness, though. And I'm just clicking in, just clicking. Now you gotta remember guys, I left it at 120. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to come up with a pattern that I like at 120. So I'm gonna go to my other uh, kick that I loaded, right? And I'm gonna go on the downbeat of all of those kicks and I'm gonna drop that in there. I'm gonna drop the volume on it some and just let it fill in a little bit. Let's listen to it. So that's what we got right now. It's sounding super cheesy. I know it. I know it's sounding cheesy. I'm making it sound cheesy on purpose. And the reason I'm making it sound cheesy because I'm going to show you that you can take literally. You can literally take just about anything on machine and turn it into something hot. I'm doing this on purpose, guys. I want you to really see this, man. This is like, this is that thing I do, man, where I just sit up and I experiment. I never try to really sit down and make my beats hot from the beginning. What I do is I experiment and I come up with new things while I'm doing it. So something like this, I just get down in it, man, and just start adding to it and subtracting. And the next thing you know, you got something hot. But check it out. I just added a clap. See, now we're starting to cook. I know you can't hear it just yet. Let's write this in on each one. And then we'll get rid of it as we see fit. I just added the open hi-hat at the end. Now right here, man, and what I did, I left it at 120. I did not want to show you this and you sitting there trying to come up with your favorite beat tempo. But what we going to do now, what we going to do now, I want you to mess with your tempo. So now I go to your favorite tempo. I don't know. Most guys, I mean, every, every producer got their favorite tempo. They like to make a beat at. So right now, what I want you to do I want you to hit tempo, and I want you to go to your favorite tempo. I was at 120. I'm just going to drop it down to about 94 just to see what we got now. Now let's see what we got. Yeah. Yeah. Now we cooking. 
And that's exactly what I wanted you to see. I wanted you to see that, yeah, it might, it might sound kind of weird up front. It might sound kind of weird up front going at 120, but I didn't want you trying to figure out your favorite tempo and put a beat together at the same time because that's a, that's what frustration sets in. So now I'm going to take this same one and I'm going to slow it down even further because me personally, I'm a slow roller type of guy. Most of my music is slow tempo. I mean, it's just the way I am. That's where I've been all, all my uh, music career. Uh, this is one of my favorite tempos. So now once you get it at your favorite tempo, the tempo that you really like listening to, so now it's time for you to really start adding and subtracting, really getting down in it. So now right here, what you can do, man, if you like your tempo, I like mine. I'm going to keep mine. I'm going to show you how tough this tempo can be. So like I was showing you in the last video, you can go right over here to this bar and you can double click on it and it'll open that up for you so that you can see it a little better. You can see what you're working with a little better. Then what I'll do, man, we we'll go in here. So what I'm hearing, actually, I probably could have added me an 808 in here somewhere something that I could really uh use. So I'll add me an 808 in here a little bit later. We'll add us an 808 once we figure out what else we want to do with this. So let's listen to it one more time. I got my tempo. I started at 120. Now I got my tempo at 87, and this is what we got. And right here, you can make any adjustment you want to. Let's take that one out and see how it sounds. We'll put that one back. We'll take this one out. And we'll take this one out. There you go. Now we cooking. So what we can do now, technically, if you didn't want to take those out, you didn't have to. But here's one thing that you can definitely do. And I do it all the time. So I'll take this pattern and now I, it's it's only a two bar loop. So I'll take it and make it a four bar loop. And then I will double click on this bar at the bottom and open it all the way up so that I can see it. Then I'll take all of this and no, I won't take all of that. I click on the pencil tool and I get rid of all of that because I never wanted it. So yeah, I take all of this, man. I go in here and I highlight the whole thing, click on that, and then I'll control C, control V. Or I'll just copy it. And then I will paste it and I will slide it on here where it goes. And now I just turn my two bar loop into a four bar loop. And now at the end of my four bars, I could open my pencil tool back up. And at the end of my four bars, I could possibly do something like I could add one of these back. I could take this little gap down here and eliminate this gap. So what I can do, I can go from 16, we'll say to 32. We'll take our pencil tool and we'll write us something in there like that. Uh, I can go to 13, I mean 132nd to 164th. And I can write in here like that. I can also take it and open it up so that I can get in there and actually do some writing. Uh, 
So right now, here's what we sound in like. We... Yeah. And it's just that simple, guys. I mean, you just got to be willing to sit down and just really pencil it in, come up with it. You can come up with any pattern that you would like to come up with. It don't matter the pattern. It don't matter the style of music. You can change all kind of settings and stuff on here to come up with exactly what you want. And a matter of fact, here's another trick. So say, for instance, you like this drum pattern and you're thinking to yourself, now, you know what? I like it fast. I like it slow. I may use this drum pattern again. So what you can do right here, and you got your drum pattern all created. So you can go right here where it says Mitch Test Kit, and you'll right click and you'll say Save As. And then you can say Mitch Test Kit 2.0 if you want to. And I can save that as Mitch Test Kit 2.0. Now watch this. I'm in groups. Mitch, Mitch Test Kit 2.0. I'm in groups. Save. Boom. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the way out of this. We're going to go delete. Now we don't have anything loaded. So here's why you wanted to save that the way I just showed you. I showed you how to save it once you create the drum kit and you name the kit. But when you want to save the kit with a pattern in it, you create the pattern and then you can uh, save it with that same pattern. So we're going to go to open like we did before, and there's our Mitch Test Kit 2.0, and then we're going to open it, and it already got the pattern there just the way we left it. Let's hit play. So yeah, man, so if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? This video right here is part two to the beat creation uh, series that we got going here. A friend of mine wanted me to kind of upload some videos so that he can get in a little more into machine, you know what I'm saying, and, and have something that he can reference. So this right here is part two, man. I'm showing you how to create the beat. In the next video, we'll go in and we'll probably... I'm not sure what we'll do. I don't know if we'll go in and kind of EQ. No, we'll save the EQ and then effects for later. What we'll do next, we'll go in and we'll probably drop a sample on this beat and show you how easy it is to drop a sample on the beat that you made so that you can come up with ideas and stuff a lot quicker in machine. So like always, man, thanks for watching. And until next video, peace.